Oh, yep. Dane Swift Quest confirmed. Dane Swift Quest officially fucking confirmed. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is like also like the, the animated teaser they were teasing as well. Fuck yes. Yeah, we're finally getting back to Dane Swift and everything. Yeah, and the twins fucking love the, their grass. I can see that. <laughs> like, man, every every single like promo art we get of the tr of the traveler is just like them lying in the grass. But alrighty, folks, the Genshin 4.7 special program is about to go live any moment now. And yeah, Dane's of Quest, I think is confirmed here. We're going to get Cloran, Seedrine, and Sethos here. And presumably a really, really banger event as well. And probably teasers for uh, Natlin as well. I cannot wait for this live stream to begin and hope you are as well. Also, yeah, there's no chibis in the official art, so I'm assuming this is going to be like a dev live stream instead of the, uh, the the voice actor live streams. Let me see my boy Dane again. Let me see our Giga Chad Dane once more, please, please. Is it live on Twitch? If it is, I'll I'll just watch it there. Okay, yeah, they're live. Observations. With oh, others. okay. I'll just watch on Twitch then. She has a cold and stern exterior, and her spotless battle record has earned her renown throughout Fontaine. A bit late, but we're she fine. She is an unusual-looking Melusine with an okay, never mind. It is a VA live stream on the world. And now, their voice hey, actors have Zach, all gathered here today. Hey, where have you been, to man? The version 4.7 special hey, Yuri's program. Here too. Hey, uh, woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I can't believe we're actually all here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, travelers. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. I can't believe it. Fucking Yuri's hosts here. <laughs> for the special program include. Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Dainsleaf. You may know me from all those new character intro videos and occasionally <laughs> drop in lore on y'all. And I'm Sarah Williams, the voice of the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Sejuine. She's there keeping everybody all healthy and nice and making sure everybody feels good. Send him back to hey collect everyone. a miscellany. I'm Crystal Lee, the voice of Fontaine's champion duelist, Clorand. Pew, pew, pew. Let's get it. All right. Nice. So we <laughs> pew, got a pew, traveler, pew. a man who's Also, can you guys hear the stream just fine? And just let me know before we uh, get I right into the, the action. I think it's the perfect party. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, what a wild coincidence, you guys. I just received an <laughs> invitational letter to a new domain. Yeah, that's yeah, not a coincidence. Yeah, imagine that. Gee <laughs> Willikers, where did that come that's from? That's just destiny. Yeah. Can you Definitely. hear just fine? Okay, that's good. You know, this new domain seems to be right behind us, but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions Also, yeah, what's with all the well, uh, we animals, for? like Let's the weasels this. in the castle and whatnot? I guess we're about to find out. Traveler, Paimon, would you join us and play Mar Chose Hunter Judgment Day? Mar Chose Hunter Judgment Day, the fuck? This script was adapted from the real history hey, of the Mario Shose Hunters. You all will play the role oh, of shit, hunters from a set? bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Whoa, hey, what's about the fighting here? In the cathedral? <laughs> what the heck is going on? Many of my habits are customs I've adopted is. from the Mara Shose Hunters tradition. <laughs> they fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's Clara, law. There she is. <laughs> Oh my, okay, I already love her fucking attack animations. Notice. It's like, yeah, semi-fencing, semi-gun. Time to testify. <laughs> For her neutral special, she wields a gun. Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. Oh, so this place is adorable. And mysterious. There must hey, be quite there's a, a boy. story behind this place. Save so, those. I'll explore this place with you to the end. Oh, he's That's a bow user, okay. I thought he'd be a spear user after his after Sino story quest. <laughs> Move or be moved! Honestly, I do want to use Seth, honestly. We're not going to doubt your fighting ability, of course. It's just so much more dangerous in there than <laughs> yep. I ever imagined. There she is too, Siege oh. Well, if it hurts, just let me know. <laughs> she, she's throwing a big pill, fucking Let's like Lynx. <laughs> she attacks in bubbles. <laughs> I mean, that does make sense for Don't her character. Don't be nervous! Just relax! <laughs> is that her burst? <laughs> fucking shooting bubbles. Disease. One, I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. Oh god, okay, now but the trailer's getting to its dark moments. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new Damn. world, they bade Whoa. farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer okay, need to Okay, this has got to be related to Dave's right? Or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. 
The soul must be cleansed and pure? The way also, Furi is tagging so along, and Lenny too. He must be a real Mara Chose hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? Oh. That's why you have a human appearance. What? That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the oh. one walking into a trap. Oh, one shit. day, <laughs> I shall have my vengeance. That what way, the fuck is that? Captain Dainsleth could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> oh, shit. Now we're getting to loom of fate shit. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Ah. Oh. Find out in 4.7 Danes of Quest. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, and that's your first redeem code, everybody. Holy shit. Are we are we actually about to witness fucking the other the other siblings throw down against Danesliff? Are we actually about to see that in action there? Oh see, so yeah, I just posted the uh first redemption code in the chat down below. So yeah, don't forget to copy and paste and redeem it soon. Holy shit though, that trailer fucking showed everything. Okay, so from what it seems, it seems like, yeah, that event with um yeah, the uh Navia, Clorand, Linny, and Farina. Yeah, that seems to be all in events. Involving them, and then we're also gonna get like you know the Danes of quests, which is yeah gonna involve our sibling again. Finally, we haven't seen her in God knows how long. Maybe finally we get her. We they will explain to us what their plan is with working with the abyss and everything. I'm here to see Danes of get beat up. That's what he gets for coming once a year. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it kind of baffles me how we don't see Danes of more often. It's honestly super, super baffling to me. Also, it leaves us with more questions and answers. Yeah. <laughs> that man just never answers any questions. He just leaves and just never comes back for like a full year. He's like your dad. Except he actually comes to visit every once in a while. <laughs> I'm here to see an Atlan teaser. Yeah, I'm hoping for like a bit of an Atlan teaser at the end here as well. Oh, it looks like our first mission is here. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy that. Assemble your team. Oh, I get it. Our first mission is to introduce the new characters. All right, this is getting exciting. Here it is. All right, then. Well, how about we start off by introducing Fontaine's strongest champion duelist, Clorand. Yes. You would say that. <laughs> I think of all the characters, yeah, <laughs> Clorand's probably the most hyped In for. In my role as champion duelist, my Yeah, look at her. Matter. For when I draw my blade... God, her animations are so fucking cool. Ooh, Fontaine's like neat transition well. as well. Also, what's that sword? That looks cool. Is that her signature weapon? Oh, yeah, it's gotta be. Ready. Yeah, I love the fencing style she has. <laughs> and also gun. Where evil looks, shoot on sight. Oh, is that a burst? Oh, that looks sick. <laughs> those animations. Did you yeah, those that? animations are yeah, fucking that sick. So cool. Mm -hmm. Clarence's strength actually has a really interesting origin. She inherited it from the Mara Chose hunters. Ooh, the hunters from the artifact set. Mm -hmm. The Mara Chose hunters were an organization that defeated monsters and upheld justice from the shadows. I think the group's name has also been mentioned in some of Fontaine's historical records. Exactly. The Mara Chose hunters have a long history. To modern day Fontaineans, they're nothing more than an old legend from novels and plays. But for Clarand, the Mara Chose hunters' legacy is really real. <laughs> if travelers want to learn more about the Mara Chose hunters, then. And then, sure and then to check Walker out not use the Mara Chose hunter in set version. in her artifacts. <laughs> from what I've heard, she's Perfect. the bond of life set. Let's get into her combat abilities. Clarand is categorized as an electro sword user. Oh yeah, but look at that animation though. She uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up oh, to she five consecutive gun strikes. Mid during her attack? charged attack, Clarand uses her pistolet to target enemies oh, in a V-shape. Oh, that's sick! Oh, so Charges actually uses her gun. Also, Clarand has developed a special ritual over the years. She always polishes oh, yeah, her that, weapon before sure she just catches the bullets. That is so so sick! I know, right? And kind of adorable. Even the champion <sighs> duelist of Fontaine has a cute side, huh? Aww. <laughs> Swift hunts. Sarah is starting to sound just Fire's like. pistol shots increases oh, Clarand's wow. bond of it's life. Oh, yep, there you go. Ritual for Clarand, right? That's exactly bond of life is low. Right. Swift hunts will have a piercing effect and deal greater damage. In fact, Clarand's elemental skill, ah. Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates how potent she can be when she's focused. Ooh. Check this out. 
During oh my combat, God, those fucking animations, Claren's though. elemental skill will cause her to enter the night vigil state. During this state, Claren can unleash two different types of special attacks. Oh, oh, her normal attacks will be converted into it switches her normal attacks to attack. Holy shit! And her elemental that skill will be converted sick. into a lunging attack. Impale the night. Huh? It looks like Claren gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Does the skill have any? My God, those effects? skills! <laughs> oh, good perception on those. I'm gonna have so much those fun using her. I can already tell. attacks increase Claren's bond of life, and her lunging attack, impale the knight, will clear the bond of life. Ah, oh, right, so and heal her as well. She okay. The bond with one hand and then clears it with the other. Oh, hey, that's a really good explanation. Yeah, Claren's special attacks have different effects depending on the value of okay, her so bond of life. Okay, so she can be some so of like a self-sustaining like DPS, like Rice they can be. Her swift hunt pistol a attacks have a piercing effect. Ah, and so you clear the bond of life, damage. you heal yourself. But when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Okay. Ah, gotcha, I get it. <laughs> so Claren is meant to use her pistol a to accumulate a bond of life and then use her sword to clear it once it reaches is a certain amount. And that way, both attacks hmm. benefit each other. Bingo! Though you should remember hmm. the effect of one of Claren's unique talents. So, when she's in the night vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Night, will be converted into a bond of life. Oh. This unique talent allows different healing effects to alter the pacing of Claren's gameplay. So, Did Jowler's that, right? can experiment with a variety into a bond of different tactical combinations. Huh. That's cool. Also, although Clarand is so that's mean, does that mean she can't get healed in that case? She has never the, the healing does not actually heal her; it just increases her bond of life. So during her <laughs> elemental burst, last lightfall, Clarand draws on her mind. Oh yeah, Hunter that's like a sick burst animation. An skill fucking shoot something to fight deadly monsters. Fucking group here. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst oh, deals yeah. AOE <laughs> electro damage and grants her a bond of life based on her guns. Wow, that's so cool. But if that power is designed to fight Oh monsters, yeah, the fucking speed, really okay the lightning effects before that and everything duel? is so, so sick. <laughs> Good point. I think Claren just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Claren can draw yeah, the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, okay. the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Oh, though no, that's there a is a ceiling to passive. the damage bonus that she can gain from this effect. So, to Claren trigger electro reaction, she gets another better. passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond oh. of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. Crit rate? And while she's in the night vigil state, Wait. the percentage of healing converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. Huh. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with so, all yeah, the regions if, of Fontaine. If, you, if she has a bond of so life, she gets better. So when she's in your party, Clorand can okay. reveal the locations of Fontaine's Oh, and then she, she, she just has Lindy's passive. So awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will yeah, just get to use her to materials. treasure, defeat monsters, and of course, uphold justice. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> so, 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 Clarand is usually pretty stern and composed as a champion duelist, but I wonder how she unwinds. Like, does she have any hobbies? Ooh, I'm sure that <laughs> she has hobbies are killing people. outside of work. I mean, she's always accepting cosmetic products from Sejuin and making sure to return Oh yeah, she's also trying she out sleeps. fucking Aww, and yeah, fashion of course she does. Clarand is an active member of the table <laughs> Yep, she's getting a story quest, hours. which so, I can't wait to do. So, in version 4.7, travelers won't just have the chance to learn more about the Mara Shose Hunter. God, yeah, I'm such a fan quest. of like the, the sword and chapter. gun combos also in characters. Get to join on a very yeah, I feel like that combo's like just so, so adventure. badass. So, Woo! pulling for Cloran for sure. TTRPGs and good luck so to everybody much. pulling for Cloran too. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. And uh, with all of that, that is all the information that I have to share about Cloran. So, next up, let's introduce I'm our calling adorable it Lake Lily's little Siege Queen. Oh, yes, I hope yes, so. Okay, sorry, I'm too excited. I found a shit ton of those. We gotta look at her for new Yes. You only get no, one rain, body, I mean. <laughs> so you gotta take care of it. Hey, okay, now we're on Siege Queen. It's just as important to take care of your mind. Okay, wait, what weapon does she use? Hold still. <laughs> what the heck is this skill? <laughs> Oh wait, does she generate the bubbles? Like the, I mean, the the balls that do like can suck up. You might feel a little prick. Yeah, <laughs> this fucking attack though. <laughs> it looks absolutely fucking hilarious. 
<laughs> this shoots out a fucking Karen's syringe cute, at the enemies. Unreal. Wow. I love her pills so Cuteness much. Cuteness overload. The She's has a bow ears user. On oh. it. I would love to ride around but on I a bubble she, like that. But I guess she never yeah. actually the uses the bubble. In the air. Oh. Yeah, with the bubble gun and the giant syringe. God, so cute. <laughs> Those bubbles are so big. Her kit looks really, really fun. I know, but but yeah, but but if that's the syringe she uses on her patients, I can see why they might be nervous about getting sick. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> I want to get stabbed by that. No, thank you. Sometimes she had to no, take her medicine. And since she's the head I'd nurse, I'd be actively the running away from Siege Wing. Siege Wing <laughs> wants everyone to stay healthy. She believes that taking care of your body is the most. Important yeah, the animation's so adorable, but, but also so fucking funny. Who overwork themselves in the production zone. Could so you imagine just fighting against Otakino and then she think that's you're just shooting fucking bubbles at her <laughs> to try and oh, kill her? Page out of her book. Yeah, seems like you'll need to be well fed and well rested <laughs> if you want to keep up with Siege Wing. <laughs> For sure, she seems like such a caring American and attentive person. American healthcare. But then, what's she like when she fights? Well, Siege Wayne is a hydro bow user. Her normal attack okay, unleashes up to three consecutive attacks. I don't see the During bow, though. The oh, because it's so attack, freaking Siege tiny. Takes out a pill and oh, and then she also throws her, her fucking pills I saw that at the, the enemies. Demo. It's like she's literally telling her opponents to take their medicine. Look at the size of that thing. She can make aimed shots using her charged attack. Once the shot oh, is they also shoot fully bubbles. charged, Siege <laughs> Wayne's fitting. bow will fire slow-moving ministration bubbles, dealing hydro damage to her target. Just make sure not to release her arrow. Oh, and also, oh, Siege Wing uses a not specially it. made also, bubble it gun just to fire goes a giant out. bolstering the bubble bomb just during her go on them as long as you hold down Rebound the aim button. Hydrotherapy. Huh. The projectile bounces between nearby opponents, dealing hydro damage to anyone it touches, and restoring ah, and also HP generates to all the, uh, nearby party members. Hydro balls. I wonder if they can be sucked up into a light as well. Siege Wing will be healed a certain the amount of health when can. the bolstering bubble bomb disappears, which is based on her max HP. <laughs> Bolstering bubble bomb. Say that three times fast. Oh, please don't <laughs> make me. Boing, boing. Travelers could have a, a bubble blowing contest with their sejuins. Would that be great? You can have that oh, idea for free. It's exactly like great blowing idea. bubbles. The longer so you hold can see, she, elemental skill, the I guess she can the uh, grows. apply hydro Once at the, the same time while healing released, the team. It will gradually decrease in size as it bounces around. The bigger the bubble, the greater the damage and healing effect. And if a large bubble hits a weaker enemy, they'll be trapped inside. Whoa. Guys. It's like she's trapping them in a cage yeah. of kindness. Like well, the Hydro you, you know, she, I wonder she if they can be used on like the, uh, so, so. <laughs> the legend bosses hey, in Fontaine. Hey, wait a second. Are those the orbs that Nivellet like drops? Guy it looks like not. Siege oh. creates two source water droplets when she fires a bubble. And it looks like she gains a bond of life when she touches them? How does that work? Uh, I can't explain that as well. Since she has training as a nurse, Sujuin understands how to make the most of a dire situation. Her elemental skill creates source water droplets. <sighs> and Sujuin can give her a bond of life by absorbing them. Oh. When that bond of life is oh, cleared, she also has a bond mechanic. can regain okay. some elemental energy based on the value of the bond of life. Neat. Ah, so Siege Wing's healing can nullify her bond of life, and she can restore energy for herself. Nice. Huh. That's right. While the bond of life is hazardous to most people, it can actually be. Because the bond of life clear, Siege Wing can restore a certain amount of Siege energy Wing. for herself. After she unlocks oh. her talent, detailed diagnosis, thorough okay. treatment. So essentially, she's gonna have her burst pretty much up the all the time. Bond of life values across all the characters in her party. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness! Sounds like a melazine can make the bond of life a lot less scary. <laughs> <laughs> After using her elemental yeah, burst we can be, and absorbing we can nearby source water the hydro water abyss mage. Sijuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. This, <laughs> this, this animation is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> Wait, that's so cute! Even imagine just using that. Just imagine poor Sijuin yeah, using that against I mean, hey, She just wants everyone to be as healthy as possible. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sijuin wants every patient to get a proper amount of rest. After unlocking her passive talent, I can already tell somebody's gonna make a, a, like a DPS Sijuin. And honestly, I'm looking forward to people like doing that. Oh. Could you imagine just DPS Sijuin? Bonus and several stacks <laughs> of convalescence. When non-active characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Siege Wing can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Ooh. I like how it's only okay. semi-strict. Like, you know, <laughs> so she's strict. half she support, half <laughs> um, Just a little. healer. Wow, so it seems like well, the bond doing of life some, mechanic is pretty like damage yourself. Wing, but also applying hydro. Mm -hmm. That Man, she has a lot of information kit, though. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see these abilities in action. And travelers won't 
just be limited to the play styles that uh -huh. they've seen here, right? As, as I understand it, the mechanics leave a lot of room for open experimentation. Yeah, yeah. Right. And outside of combat, melazines are very connected to the ocean, so Sijuin always takes care of her companions during underwater exploration. Oh. Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She can use her emergency dose talent to continuously restore HP to her party member for a period of time. Oh. But unfortunately, doing so will lower all of their elemental and physical resistances. There's always a price. Mm hmm. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so that seems wait. like a skill that would come huh. in handy, though. Sijuin is always looking so out for us. So Sijuin can heal you underwater. Thanks, head nurse. <laughs> but at the cost <laughs> of lowering you, like your resistances. Oh, and I've okay. got a quick question for you all. Yes. Have you noticed any differences between Sijuin and other Melazines? Uh, yeah, well, she has a human face, and, and according to the trailer, mm -hmm. like, apparently the she did something to have a human face. She actually doesn't look that different from a human child, right? How could you ignore those? <laughs> right. Well, it's written fair. <laughs> yeah, is that going to be a lore reason beauty, as to why she has a human face? Care, and she actually Probably. And contributes to the most famous beauty magazine in Fontaine? Did not know that. Oh, 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 and her medical knowledge. Right. We haven't encountered any other Melusines who give medical treatment to humans, oh. and Sijuin seems to care the most about the people of Fontaine. And she's also yeah, one of the few who work so in cute. the Fortress of Meripede, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, generally speaking, not many people are willing to treat criminals. I mean, not even a Melusine's open-mindedness usually goes that far, right? Mm, Sijuin's does. And you're all bringing up great points. Don't you think that Sijuin's differences from the other Melusine's make her seem more unique and approachable at the same time? Mm -hmm. In the Nera E chapter, yep, travelers she's also getting will a story have class. to learn more about the background of this very special Melusine in her personal story class. I kind of look forward to it hers oh, as well. That's awesome. I want to know the hey, lore reason why she quests, has a human face. Hey, there's our boy. Youngster last version. Setho. Uh, sometime during Sino's English story voice actor Zeno well, Robinson, aka Junpei Iori. to add him to their parties. He recently left the desert, and he's eager to travel around. So, Zach, why don't you introduce him? Go, Zach. Oh, me? Uh, okay, then. I'm kind of surprised Let's he's a, a look at bone, Sethos honestly. I thought he used a pole arm. <laughs> if you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes, it's better to... That's a big-ass water bottle. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Give me some space. <gasps> yeah, I kind of hope he can be used as a main DPS. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Glory to Holy shit, he's like fucking launching nukes at the enemies. <laughs> oh, and they go through them as well? Cool. Oh, okay. wow. His design is so cool. He looks amazing. Yeah, yeah the clothes and the hair, I love it. Right? Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his desert heritage. He's also talented in archery. Sethos has always hmm. loved hiking, and he has a great sense of direction. Whether he's exploring the desert or the rainforest, he knows the roads like the back of his hand. And he always knows where to find the best regional specialties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably know oh. where this is going, but I'll say it anyway. Tainari passive, when Sethos essentially. Is in team, he'll reveal the location of Sumero regional specialties on the minimap. Nice. Cool. Wait, so I'm curious. He's lived in a remote desert for his entire life, and he carries the weight of such an ancient legacy. To me, it seems like someone with that kind of upbringing would either be, like, really introverted or just super arrogant, but Sethos doesn't seem like that at all. Oh. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Sethos is a very open-minded and cheerful person. As the successor to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. Hmm. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. He has a very open mind. Yeah, I noticed. He, he he's tries using to be like, a, like a BP weapon. In fact, his personality is a huge I wonder if that's going to be like the best thing on him then. So wait, that sounds like... Are you saying he's a social butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. He's a pretty busy Maybe. guy, and he lives a pretty varied lifestyle. <laughs> and he's around the same age as the general Mahamatra Sino. He occasionally visits the academia, he's always trying to make friends in Sumeru City, and he enjoys browsing goods at the Grand Bazaar. But we've already talked a lot about his hobbies. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. All right. Yes. Sethos' aim shot has a special variant when charged to level 2. Oh, okay. He can't move when his attack is charged to its wow, second level. Wow, that's a very long charge time. But it allows time. him to fire a powerful, shadow-piercing shot that can pierce okay, enemies. Okay, there's gotta be a way to, like, speed that up, right? Targets <laughs> in its path. Sethos' talent, Black Kite's Enigma, can decrease the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. 
Oh. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Huh. Nice. He consumes his, his yeah, energy. Also, I noticed his aim shots take a really long time to charge. So I think that means players need to store up elemental energy to fire the shadow piercing shot faster, right? So then you just hey, don't want to use it. Wait a minute, burst. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact huh. character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yeah, you're right on. Hey. That's why Sethos has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. It's an ancient ritual that deals AoE electro damage, and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, electro swirl, quicken, aggravate, or oh. hyper bloom <laughs> reaction. Just, Ooh, just anything except but travelers also have another option for firing powerful <laughs> shots. By unleashing his elemental burst, Sethos will perform an ancient okay, so ritual the, that was wow, passed down no from animation King for the burst. era. He will enter the Twilight Meditation State, converting his normal attacks to enemy-piercing dust bolts that deal increased damage based yeah, on I've his elemental mastery. Yeah, I've it goes through the enemies as well, <laughs> so you can like, cool. hit like, a whole line like of them. That sounds like a mini version of the shadow-piercing shot, only it doesn't take as much time to fire. <laughs> Useful! Okay, also, it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of powerful abilities. Interesting. So, uh, between you I and me, that, does that mean like his burst is, is, is going to be useful, like, at all? Of course! Oh, and yeah. also, says on here, sure that the Temple of Silence yeah, has a whole his normal archive into, of like, charge attack damage. One of his other talents uh. will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow piercing shot. His damage is considered a charge attack damage. Based on his elemental okay, so mastery. maybe. Gladiator. Okay, all right. No, Sounds no like Gladiator the Temple of Silence kind of... is a real impressive legacy. But maybe no uh, so many ancient rituals. Hmm. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make full Actually, use sure of his what, martial uh, heritage. We should run on him. He's similar to Kalorand in that sense. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah, he wow. also scales with elements of mastery as well. Nice. I wonder what the next one's gonna be. Let's get it. Oh, it uh, looks like we'll have to uncover hidden secrets in our next mission. Hmm. Oh, they're not gonna show like the why, banners. Why are all you guys looking at me? <laughs> well, I mean, secrets well, are kind I mean, of your yeah. area of expertise. Hidden secrets. Mm -hmm. We know James have a lot of them. Speak in riddles. Speak plainly, sir. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who can shed some light on the hidden secrets. Oh, here he goes. So here we go. Mm. <laughs> Archon Quest Chapter Four, Act Six, Bedtime yes. Story will become available in version four point seven. New Archon Quest, baby. Travelers <laughs> will finally reunite with Dainsleaf, hey. who will share more information about Conria's past. Ooh, that's that's what you guys were waiting for, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And <clears throat> also, I, you know, got to break out my voice acting skills for this patch, you guys. Oh, yes. no! Words come out of your mouth? Hell yeah! yeah you Finally! Oh, yeah! This time, Ether and Lumine will get to meet face to face. Finally, fucking Ooh. leave. Based on At what long, we heard in the trailer, past. it seems like the Loom of Fate is now complete. So travelers can look forward to learning more about Kari Bear in this Wait, Kari Bear? can't reveal everything right now. Okay, oh. leave some secrets for me. These are important secrets Ain't that travelers should that uncover for themselves. Fucking oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. killed call the snipers, in the previous arc, of course. Right. <laughs> look, look I, look, I know, I get it, that everyone can barely contain their excitement. So, I will throw you a bone. To help tide you over until the next update, I'll be sharing a special surprise with y'all. Uh? What is it? Come on. Oh, I love surprises. It is. You'll know very soon, I promise. Uh, but you'll first, know when first, you play first, the first, first, game. <laughs> we need to introduce the event wishes. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so, yep. Here we go. In the first Banners. phase of version 4.7, Chlorand and Alhatham Co will be oh, featured. Alhatham, okay. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Set those Didn't expect him to four get a rerun this early. Appears on this huh. event wish banner. Mm -hmm. And, and set those in the second phase banner. of the version, travelers can yep, look forward Siege to event wishes from Oh boy. And yep, everybody's pulling on Farina's rerun for sure. Star Sword, <gasps> Absolution, and a new five star yeah, bow. Clorand signature and Sea Queen signature. Will also be featured <gasps> Clorand's sword looks cool, honestly. They look so good. It's yeah, a so cool. So good, right? All right. Okay, okay. I've made y'all wait long enough. Let's bring out the surprise. Yes, I hope everyone finally. enjoys it. Let's, Let's go. go. Also, yeah. <laughs> fucking Sea Queen's fucking bow has a heart on it. <laughs> Imagine running that on the serious characters. Oh, shit. Wait. The Genshin anime teaser? Oh shit, it is! Yeah, it's uh, this is the one made by Ufotable, right? It looks... it looks Ufotable. Hopefully, the, yeah, this is a teaser for like, for the anime that's actually gonna come out soon. <laughs> 
Uh, hopefully soon, I mean. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're separated. Amongst the stars. Whoa, music. This music is giving me goosebumps right now. <laughs> Dane Man. This is depicting Lumine's journey before she turned in towards the abyss. As in, yeah, Lumine's the abyss twin here. Wow, this is so fucking well animated. Yeah, Lumine's with Dane, Aethis with Paimon. And yeah, she finished her journey and sat waiting for Aethis to complete his. Oh, the r and huh? So adorable here. Dude, this music though. Oh, and there's our boy. I hope this music is not copyrighted. <laughs> Are you ready on your way? God, yeah, the animation in this in this is so fucking golly. This is only a teaser, by the way. I can't wait to see what the actual anime is gonna look like. Oh. Yeah, don't like to look in the means eyes there for a second. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh, and there's your next redemption code. Holy shit, the animation looked fucking sick there. Yeah, if the entire anime looks like that, I am watching it day fucking one. <laughs> like, yeah, when the engine anime comes out, I probably will, like, do a reaction stream to, like, the whole thing. Good lord. We've been blessed today. <laughs> You know, weirdly, <laughs> what a weird time to release this, by the way, because Wuthering Waves just came out. <laughs> like, come on, you could have teased this, like, much earlier? Come on, now. <laughs> also, yeah, there's your second redemption code in the chat there. Be sure to copy and paste it into your redeem codes. And, yeah, claim it before this time, otherwise it's gonna expire. But man, what fucking goaded animation. Holy shit. Yeah, it's a teaser for the anime. It's not, it's not gonna be in the anime itself. The birds was Lumine and Ether was the same with the stars, yeah. Yeah, it kind of makes me worried for like the end of the story. Are we actually gonna be, re be reunited with our sibling? Or is one sibling gonna have to like kill the other or something? Uh, I, I don't know. I just hope it's... Mm, man, yeah. <laughs> I'm all the more hyped to play the Danes of Quest now. I want, I want to see our sibling again. Oh, this music some more. Like, yeah, especially the music in that trailer was so fucking powerful. God, I want to know what that song, like, name is. Yeah, I, I do wonder, how long is the Genjin anime gonna be? Because if they're, like, recapping the whole story, um, it would take, like, at least, like, fucking five seasons. Welcome back, travelers. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey. I okay, think it's I about all time that depressing we stuff. introduce this domain it's time for the happy go lucky. Us. Yes, yes. Bring on Event. the challenge. I'm so ready. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you sound ready. <laughs> The oh, we actually got a claim bill in this event. Pretty intriguing. Imaginary in the theater. Traveler discovered a secret room within the Mondstadt library, and they've received an invitation to participate in a mysterious performance. Oh, I love secret rooms and libraries. I've always wanted one. Yeah. So that's right. The all <laughs> I, new I event, Imaginarium Theater, event is will become like available very, very in version four point seven for travelers who are adventure rank thirty five. I don't know why. It just, it just nice. gives me like Alice in Wonderland so vibes a for some reason. Mm -hmm. Wow, the coolest library. I know it looks a lot yeah, different than what I imagined. It's huge. Yeah, it kind of yeah, looks Seven seats? No, eight mm, seats. Right? So cool. I would also, what's that? Please. Oh, it's a boy so princess. Travelers will encounter a concierge the in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. 
I know. He's so cute. Wolfie. He'll reveal oh, that this room alive? was created by a mage and that he's waiting Aww. for a guest to take the stage. Hey, guys, look. He's it's it's Genshin Pom Pom. <laughs> that it's guest Genshin will Pom -Pom, guys. put on a magnificent <laughs> performance by becoming the main character of the mage's story. Bring on that main character energy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After arriving in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Whoa. Wow, that was fast. That UI goes card. Yeah, but what kind of challenge is it? Oh, let me tell you. Imaginarium Theater ah, contains a series characters. of okay. combat challenges. Oh, it even shows the weapons and artifacts. That's now, nice. Only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. Wait, you have to bring eight characters so travelers in? will have to select characters who meet the requirements of the challenge. Huh. Oh, I get it. But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh-huh, good thinking, but you won't have to worry about that. Because first off, six characters will be designated as the initial lineup for each challenge. Okay. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Nice. And travelers also, you're forced also to use these characters, but if your one is under level, you can always use uh, the trial ones. Restricted by the event okay. Requirements. In addition, travelers can also designate a certain number of characters yeah, what, like as seven characters? for their friends. They can also select their friends oh, to assist their friends. To join their own okay. Team. That's a nice way to get to try new characters. Right? Huh. Friend, friends. friends. So, wait, does that mean I can use. Each I can, other I, I can straight just use combat. somebody else's character? Like in Star and Rail? During the current challenge period, those six designated characters who make the initial lineup will gain fantastical blessings. This will grant them buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wait, 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 wait. wait what? So you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Yes! Wow. You just have those buffs okay, permanently the main behind the throughout the evening in the overall oh, too? super powerful. And I know that everyone's probably wondering why it looked like we had to select so many characters just now. But characters will consume vigor while participating in Imaginarium Theater combat challenges. Okay. So when a character's vigor is fully depleted, they will no longer be able to fight, ah. and you will have to replace oh, them okay. with a new character. It's like a Nuzlocke kind of thing. When, once you use them twice, you can no longer use them I again. Get it. So when you select your characters, you have to pay attention to how well they work together. Yes. And also how well they can fill in for each other. Exactly. Okay. Is that and I should also mention <laughs> that not all selected characters will immediately appear in your team. Some characters can only be gathered by progressing through the story. They can formally be added to your team at the end of an Imaginarium Theater battle or oh. when you encounter certain special events. Cool. Oh, that's kind of sick, so actually. So assembling your team is part of the challenge. Yes, which makes ah, it even more fun. okay. But let me explain a little more about the special events that I mentioned. Yeah, this, this event seems fun, to honestly. Spend Fantasia flowers to trigger events during the story. Now, some events will unlock certain characters Companion for random. battle, and others may trigger certain perils. Oh, it just <laughs> chooses from your from a so your travelers character roster to, to choose very decide carefully. who you want to join no in, right? <laughs> ah. Travelers can collect performance tour rewards by completing challenges and finalizing their performance results. The first time they complete a challenge, travelers will also and receive like this a event seems pretty fun, not gonna lie. Ooh, travelers who feel particularly confident can try to attain the star challenge condition you during can get, each wait, stage. How many primos from be this? able to obtain different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. Uh -oh. And that's not all, right? <laughs> Travelers can also obtain toy medals during this event, which they can exchange with Wolfie the Concierge. Aww. In return, Travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos. Oh, yeah, cool! Awesome! Right? Wait, you Travelers can get character will be able poses? To new cool pictures. In camera mode? Oh, fucking finally! So hyped. Mm, me too. <laughs> now, only now and Gadgets also, are giving us the poses we fucking want. Whenever Imaginarium Theater is updated. Yes. And finally, finally I can get back to like taking photo mode and get it again. Difficulty levels, and each one has a different number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels will yield even better rewards. Bring it on. As Wolfie the concierge likes to say, when the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't yeah. you hesitate. Just go open it. How can you be so That's cute? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 somehow I still didn't make him as cute as he actually is. Of course, it's it'll a permanent take time event. for Wait, is it? to raise the necessary characters I thought and this was like a limited how events. they fit into Wait, you, this new challenge. Wait, is it actually permanent? I'm sure travelers are always looking for ways to get more primo hmm. gems. Always. You just said the magic primo word. Gems. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Each month, Imaginarium Theater will alternate updates oh. with the Spiral Abyss. In addition, oh, the total okay, so rewards like an, that can be gained it's an from the game mode. has been increased from 600 primo gems to 800 primo gems. Imagine if you were alternate updates yes, with the yeah. 
a bit slow moon spire with each update Genshin lasting a month. Official social oh, so this is like so pretty much a new endgame. Look fucking I, finally, I, I Genshin. Ooh, the Only now you sent the game out there on the best of ways releases. Yes, please. <laughs> Mutual security enhancing oh, simulation. Oh, hey, there's our free uh, huh. bow as well. I see some hilly churls and ruin guards, so I'm assuming this is one of those monster fighting events. Mutual yes, security yes, enhancing simulation. Of. Travelers won't be engaging monsters directly. Instead, they'll be able to command monsters to Yeah, they're actually fucking terrified of fucking wuthering waves. Only now they step up their game. Strategic <laughs> war game to improve their understanding uh, of security needs. Not hating on Mothering Waves for Genshin, by the way. By it's just, yeah, it's just, Knights wow. Coincidentally, this game just got ten times better. Yashiro Commission, Sumeru's Core of Thirty, and Fontaine's Special Patrol. Their joint exercise is intended to improve military tactics across the continent. Sir, yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> You're making this event sound really official. <laughs> that, that was my official voice. <laughs> oh, it's just I like, ha, <laughs> no, don't go to that game, guys. Saying, come on. We're increasing the wrestling cap. We got a new end game game mode. We got two new five star characters. Come on, come back. <laughs> stay, you you want to say you want to say you want to Travelers will need to analyze enemy formations and deploy the what best the units for completing the challenge. We can actually use in the enemies in scenarios, this? scenarios, you only need to select your combat units and deploy them within your staging area. So once the scenario begins, you will automatically start attacking your opponents. Sit back and I don't know if you can relax when these things are coming at you, but try. Clearly not. Pew pew. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm gonna give this a try. Ooh, yeah, and they yeah, also said they're okay. increasing uh, the. Oh, oh, you actually use them. Wow, you actually get to use them. Got wiped out so quickly. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Oh, it's sorry, like theater mechanics, but important. reverse. You You're know. actually using the enemies. <laughs> I know. I know. That's sick. <laughs> uh, but the, but here we can we can fix it now. Some types of yeah, they said they were increasing the rewards from spider Best from 600 females like per Archers month to 800 to females per month. Like so it's like a, a fight fret, ball every you time you complete spider Best. Around. If you choose the Which best nice. units to tackle the opponents on the battlefield, just choose Ooh. the best units, Zach. Exactly. Just choose the best just, units. Just choose the best <laughs> units. <laughs> this ice cold <laughs> troll is fucked. In defense scenarios, you need to deploy units to effectively counter enemies who are attacking from multiple directions. So defeated enemy units will drop. Damn, they're really beacons, pulling out all the stops for this update. Holy shit! Combat units I mean, they have to build up hype for Natlin somehow, I As suppose. As the commander, travelers can use their leadership skills to create favorable conditions for their team. And if they're successful, then travelers can obtain various rewards. Ah, uh, <laughs> from Pyro, the Pyro mutual lines, security lines, who will win. simulation event. These rewards include brrr, primo gems, yes! a crown of insight, and, <gasps> and a, a free four bow. star bow, cloud forged. Oh, cloud me. forged. I wonder if that's okay. supposed to be like the free bow for Siege Queen or we're slash introducing Sethos. Another combat related event. Endless form. Oh most god, martial. don't tell me this is gonna involve Ooh, okay. the fucking mm -hmm. I'm guessing that this one's gonna test some different oh, skills. Oh goodness. Yeah, you betcha. In the previous event, travelers only got to simulate combat, but the environment on a real battlefield is way more unpredictable. And that's why it's important to come up with combat tactics on the fly and take advantage of battlefield conditions. So, in Endless Form's Most Martial, travelers will have to defeat enemies according to the special rules Is of that Kalos Weapon next to bow? No, I don't, no, that wasn't the uh, Kalos Weapon. I'm pretty sure those are the refinements for the bow. The so and you can, like, R5 the weapon the if you play the event in full. Towards the challenge goal. Now, once they satisfy the requirements, they'll be able to earn ba ba ba, -ba rewards! I'm Primos! Yes! I love rewards! <laughs> hmm, so this is one of those challenges that requires you to strategize. It kind of looked like a weapon? Yeah, Maybe. I won't lie to you, it did kind of oh, look like one. Let's move on to our next event. I'm gonna try this announcer voice. Spino <laughs> Double Blaster! Uh, I got what a the report heck? about a loud boom that just went off <laughs> in a rather unremarkable part of What the blubber beast doing? Uh-oh. Ooh, I What the fucking seal doing? It must have come from that crocodile-shaped cannon. It, it, that thing looks pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it, actually. Shoot. This cannon was modified by a Fontanian engineer. Oh. It's now just a toy cannon that you can use to fire hydro bullets. So why not have some fun with it? Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, why not? Oh, yeah. Didn't we use this thing in, like, the, uh, Travelers will need to allocate events? energy to the Close cannon to and choose the correct firing mode oh, yeah, to this destroy again. as many target balls as possible within the time limit. They'll even be rewarded for their trouble. Was there oh, ever a doubt? <laughs> in order this guy's to just missing the all the shots right now. Special Special types of target balls will appear during the challenge. They will produce different effects when they are destroyed. So, 
be sure to check it out for yourself. Yeah, that's not a crocodile. You guys, that's that's. <laughs> I don't know what they're on about. Yeah, old school. That, that ain't games, a crocodile. An old school. Okay, oh, I'm just old. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, it's like oh no 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 not that. Our next event <laughs> takes place in the okay. land of monsters. Wolf events. Travelers will encounter a familiar light novelist who recently completed a new script. Oh, is this travelers who follow her script will be able to embark on a wondrous is this the uh, what do you call it literature and imagination. And okay, never mind. It's not. I thought it was the mysterious uh... locales. Oh no, it is. I think it is a domain challenge again. Opportunity to earn rewards. That is, if they can evade bullet curtain assaults from you know <laughs> various mechanisms and collect enough labyrinth coins. No big deal. You can. Do that. Yeah, it's like the labyrinth Wicked event again. Will the one that uh, plays can customize. I think. Ooh, alliteration. I think. <laughs> if you defeat them, then you can earn even more coins. Ooh, it looks like we'll have to move really skillfully if we want to avoid all those attacks. No pressure. Mm -hmm. But hey, don't worry. Travelers can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. So these buffs will make the oncoming bullets a lot easier <laughs> to deal with. You'll See, also be able Clara to get rewards more easily stood there just took if it. you're smart about how you use them. That sounds great. So great. Speaking of strategies, the new version will be adding more updates to the Genius Holy shit, all these CCG DPG. cards. Hey, Kave! Hey, please! Oh, yo, please. Add to the banner. Cards. Please, don't also, be afraid. Add them to the freaking banner. Be ready to challenge yeah, Farina card as well. <laughs> Oh, and I hope they're ready to lose. Please, Hoya, yeah. I swear to God, if you add them to the cards, but not as in the actual banner, <laughs> also, I will actually come over to your house. Also return in the new version, so don't miss out. Whew, that was a lot of information. Let's take I a break while we take a look I want to see Cave, please. Code. Please, Hoya. See you soon. <laughs> Dog, instead of black cat. <laughs> okay, and that's your last redemption code. Okay, I think they might be done with everything, but... Maybe they might be able to tease Natlin here at the end. Also, yeah, let me go ahead and just uh, put in the redemption code in the chat down below. Let me just go ahead and do that. Yeah, if if Kabe's gonna be on any banner, it has to be on Al Hatham's banner. Because why? <laughs> like it makes no sense to put him anywhere but Al Hatham's banner. Oh yeah, please, Natlin, Natlin, Natlin. Please, just a sneak preview of what it's gonna be like, please. Just at least concept art or something. Give us a teaser. Give us a fucking glance at Natlin and what it's gonna be about. Please. I swear to God, Hoy, if you stall till 4.8 to do it. <laughs> I, I will wait patiently, but I'll be very, very upset about it. But yeah, so far this event, this uh, update seems freaking goaded. Like, so many good events. A new endgame game mode. Uh, increased resin cap, which is obviously a nice thing. Cloran Siege Queen look fucking sick, and Sethos looks pretty good as well. Yeah, this event, this this update seems fucking goaded, honestly. It, this event seems stacked. Uh, this, uh, this event, this, this uh, update seems stacked. Nalan's just held the mouth. <laughs> yeah, true. I do want a Farina's uh, Act 2 story quest. But then again, she's no longer the Archon. So what can you really do with her? I'm, I'm sure Hoya can think of something, but... Hmm. And we're hello, back! Welcome hello. back, everybody! We're back! We're back. Hello, 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 hello! Welcome back to the version 4.7 special program. Looks like we completed this domain challenge. Oh, was there ever any doubt? Piece of cake. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find I am very, very pro. Please, now it's one. time to tell everyone about the new optimizations in the latest update. Oh yes, yeah, please. just the First QL up, changes. The encounter point system for collecting daily commission rewards will now be unlocked at adventure rank 24. Hopefully, this okay. helps travelers level up more quickly. Nice. Okay, and so now pretty much for some really about noobs. exciting news. Traveler's max resin will be increased from 160 to yes. 200. Finally! <laughs> Three years, by the way. <laughs> and you wait till Wuthering Ways release to do this. That version 4 oh, yeah. Will have some you can other yeah, have 100 uh, friends be now. Sure to check them out for and yourselves yeah, put quick game. equip for noobs. <laughs> All right, that looks like all the information oh, we have all. to share okay. today. Bye, travelers. <laughs> that's pretty much everything what? that was in the... Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, I'm can't. just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Of course I wouldn't sign off without giving you guys the chance to, <gasps> to talk about your oh. time here on the special program. Oh. How was it? Oh, I thought I you were going to talk about that one. No, I'm, I'm just... 
I'm so thrilled to join this amazing voice cast, and I'm excited for everyone to get to see Sejuin in action and add her to your parties. I hope and yes, just see how cute she is. Yeah, good luck, everybody. That's pulling for Sejuin and Clarin, <laughs> and I'll hate them and uh, Farina too. Thank you very much. Yeah, same here to everything that Sarah said. It's such an honor to join the cast. I'm so excited that Clarin is finally now, coming. Hang on out. a minute. Don't don't get impatient, Chad. Don't get impatient. Fun, um, they may like, show it at the end her and here. Learning more about her. Uh, and also, I, I'm really excited for these combat events. I don't know about you guys, but I, I've been playing this game, and my favorite thing is Honestly, yeah, the events seem fun. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to try <laughs> them all. <too. laughs> Love fighting these monsters. And, and you guys, I, I have not been playing this game for years, and so while, while uh, yeah. Dainsleaf is a is a I've been busy mystery, playing Spider-Man and, you know, uh, a bunch game, of other characters. Uh, so much of it is a mystery to me, and you guys were so welcoming today, and I learned so much. And I don't know, is this the yeah. thing that finally gets me <laughs> I would me love to, to thank Bua oh, for, you guys a, for allowing like, Genshin to have this many what, good changes happen? to it. Did we get it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, it's been absolutely awesome doing this with you guys. I'm so excited for Imaginarium Theater, of course, all the new characters, and the new Archon Quest because I got some new voice lines. <gasps> the Archon Quest, too. I'm absolutely excited for that. Please speak. More. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming, guys, and see y'all in game. Bye see y'all in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right, bye. Nalan teaser, Nalan teaser, Nalan teaser. Nalan teaser. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's real! Natlin is real! Holy shit, look at those fucking chonkers! They look like a Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, isn't these the creatures the fucking guy was telling us about? They can climb walls? Wait, you can play as one? <laughs> Fuck. Whoa! Wait, what? You can play as the animal? <laughs> Oh, fucking lava. Hell yeah, Natlin is fucking real, boys. <laughs> Why do all these animals look like Pokemon? Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, can you become an animal in fucking Natlin? <laughs> Natlin, baby! It's here! It's fucking here! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Oh, I am fuck. This was this. Uh, this is so fucking great! Holy shit! Wait, they're mounts? Wait, we can actually fucking ride mounts in Natlin? Oh fuck yes! <laughs> yeah, it's like Monster Hunter now in Natlin. Oh my god! Yeah, Natlin looks so fucking good. I have to watch that shit again, over and over again. But yes, confirmed. Natlin is coming soon. Oh, what an absolutely goaded fucking special program. <laughs> you can tell Hoyo is afraid of Wuthering Waves because they pull out all the stops here to like try and keep the player base in Genshin. <laughs> fucking new days of quest, new permanent end game game mode, 200 resin, increase rewards for Spiral Abyss. Three really fun looking events, and Natlin is coming soon, as well as, you know, Chlor and Seedreen are rolling around as well. And Sethos too. Cannot wait for this fucking update. It seems really, really great. I cannot fucking wait for it. Yeah, and, the, and also the anime uh, short as well. Or like, uh, yeah, teasing the anime that will hopefully come out soon. Man, yeah, <laughs> this update is gonna be fucking the best. It's gonna be absolutely great. But alrighty, guys, that is the end of the, uh, yeah, version 4.7 special program. Man, yeah, this is such a good update. What do you guys think? And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you're pulling for Chloran or Siege Queen. I will be there day one to stream the Danes of Quest, also pulling, yeah, pulling for Chloran and Siege Queen. Not Chloran and Siege Queen, Chloran and Sethos. Siege Queen is in phase two. And yeah, cannot wait to absolutely stream this, uh, this patch to you guys when it does go live. But alrighty, guys, and that is gonna be the end for this uh, watch party of the 4.7 special program. Cannot wait for it, and yeah, <laughs> cannot wait to see like more of Natlin, and hopefully, like, and also yeah, the drip marketing for the next update as well. Can't wait to see that too. But alright guys, if you enjoyed the stream, be sure to hit like as well on the stream because it really does support me. And be sure to su uh, subscribe as well if you want to catch more videos or streams from me. Good luck to you guys pulling for Chloran, Seedween, and anybody else. And yeah, that'll be it for me to for today everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again in the next uh, stream, which will probably be on Tuesday. 
yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna stream next week, but I'll let you guys know in my in my YouTube community tab if you wanna like yeah stay tuned to what I'm gonna do next. Also, yeah, join the Discord channel because yeah, it's slowly but surely growing in numbers. So join the Discord channel, follow my Twitch channel, and everything. And yeah, I'll see you all again in the next stream. Take care and have good nights. And I hope to see you all again next time. Bye bye.